In today's video, we are going to craft a rocket and we are going to travel to the moon in nuclear tech mode. So last week, I made an overview of the James H2 fork which had space travel to nuclear tech mode. And today, I am going in depth on how to craft a rocket, how to see if it can travel to planets and then blast away to the moon and then come back to the earth which is going to be pretty cool now there are timestamps in the description along with all of the links so without any further ado my guys let's get straight into it all right so before we blast off into space we first need to select the planet or the moon that we need to go to and then select a place where we can land the exact position that is done using the star dar and the hard drives so this is the star dar it is used to basically look for all of the planets and the moons that are there and here's the crafting recipe for it now right now it doesn't use any power and if we go in the interface here then you can see all of the different planets that are there uh, let me get rid of any <laughs> real quick and so here you can see all of the different moons planets that are available now today we are going to moon and by the way notice that every planet and moon has a processing tier that is this is important later on so here's moon that we need to go to now take an empty hard drive place it right there and now we can click on the moon now the empty hard drive is a very simple crafting recipe like this and clicking on the moon will open its height map now in the height map of any planet you can select the position where you want to land red will be the places where you can't land and green will be flat spaces where you can land so find a favorable spot like for example here was a plane area about there so that looks like a pretty good place to land and once we have located the plane area we can land right here so clicking once will put in the coordinates and now we can get the hard drive out but this is where we want to go to about where we are going from that's from the earth so place another empty hard drive and place uh, press the slf button which will open the planet that you are on currently and I think this is the meteor that's right there. But you can select any position on the earth for now. And as you can notice, the hard drive is already processed. So now we have two hard drives. One is where we are from. One is where we are going to. And this will be processed in the drive processor. So here's the drive processor, a two block machine. And uh, as you can see, the earth drive is already processed, but the moon drive is not processed. It requires a level zero processing. But if there are higher tiers, then you can use the drive processor tier 1, tier 2 or tier 3 accordingly. So for now, uh, let's just place the moon drive in the topmost slot. And also this requires power in order to run. So I'm going to place a self-charging battery here. And placing it, we press the start button. Mm, but uh, the battery is not providing enough power. So I'm just going to upgrade it real quick and then start the processing and once this is done we'll get a hard drive which is processed and can be used to see if a rocket can go to the moon or not now you can also clone drives in order to make backup copies so you are not stranded on any planet and this is how you do it so here's a copy for moon and then here's a copy for earth so once all of this is done we start making a rocket which is using the vehicle assembly base now this is crafted using the following crafting recipe in the assembly machine and for this we are going to need fuel tanks there are total four sizes available with different fuel capacities next we also need thrusters now if you will notice the thrusters have different fuel values along with different thrust values so these go from several hundred thousand newtons all the way over to 1 million newton and even higher than that so i am going to use hydrogen oxygen thruster the simplest fuel which is there and finally landing legs so here we place down earth on the top which is where we are from moon goes in the bottom where we are going to and now the landing capsule goes in the very top this is where we will be sitting looks pretty cool once we start building the rocket and now we can start placing the fuel tanks so the one meter fuel tank it requires thruster and landing legs so if i place this an error message appears which says that we have insufficient fuel capacity which you can see on the top right here so there are two ways you, you can resolve this basically you can add more of the same thruster type so for example if i add more of the one meter thrusters and a total of six i think should do the trick so there we go now with six one meter thrusters this is uh, how a rocket will look like the trip is possible 
But instead, you can just use bigger thrusters, which will be cheaper to craft. You can look all of the crafting recipes in any AI. So I'm going to use a 12 meter thruster. A single one will do the trick. And once it says that trip possible, you can craft the rocket by pressing the cock, which is green now. So if I press it here, it's a stage one rocket and it can take us to the moon. Now, in order to get uh, the rocket to launch, we need a launch pad. So the launch pad is pretty cool multi-block structure. It is crafted using the following recipe. And in here, you can place the rocket, the topmost slot like this. And according to the height, the launch pad will adjust it. Now on this side right here, we have slots for providing the power and also fuel. You can also do this in the internal GUI, but providing it from outside looks pretty cool. So here I'm going to supply it with some power using some self-charging batteries. And also we need fuel, which in this case will be hydrogen and oxygen. Now the destination drive will be for moon, which is where we are going. And now all we need is to supply fuel right here, which can be done one day like this. And once that's done, we will get a thumbs up and now we can commit this rocket to launch when we are ready to go to the moon. Now moon is a place where we are not going to get any oxygen. So for that, we will need the personal life support system, PLSS. These are all of the armors that can work as a spacesuit, basically because they are completely sealed. And we will need a modification called the PLSS, which I, as I said, personal life support system, which can be applied to a helmet using the armor modification tape. So for the spacesuit, I'm going to use the MITI because it looks most like an astronaut suit and apply the PLSS to it. And now the helmet can be filled with oxygen, as you can see in the mods down below. So placing it in a barrel full of oxygen. Now we have oxygen in our helmet. This is how a normal MITI suit looks like. And if I change it to the oxygen one, we have an oxygen bar. But we are not consuming any of it right now because we are on the Earth. But on the moon, this will be consumed. Now, for your trip back, you will only get the landing pod back. So make sure to get all of the remaining components, the fuel, uh, thrusters, landing gears, etc. And to come back, I'm going to have an exact point where our landing pod is going to come back. So we can take the hard drive for Earth, search for the specific coordinates. This process is a bit tricky because we don't have any grids here. Uh, it would have been easier if there were grids, but yeah. Now that target coordinates are there, this is the exact point where we want to come back to. So put on our space source, it's time to go to the moon. I'm going to switch to survival, climb all the way to the top, and here don't forget to commit the rocket to launch. Otherwise you can't go in it. Once it is committed to launch, sit in and let the countdown begin. So we go 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Pretty cool animation right there and it will take some time and then we are on the moon. Once we have descended enough, the landing pod will commence its entry burn to decelerate and we'll land safely right here. On the moon. There we go. So pretty smooth and we are on the moon. Press shift to get out. And here you can jump much higher. There's no oxygen and it's completely there. Looks awesome. Now, initially this video was going to be like also a base building video. I was going to show you how to build a starter base on the moon, but I can't do that because of an issue that I have been having, which I'm going to show you in just a little while. So for now we got a landing pod back now in here on the moon you will find a lot of moon turf on the surface below you'll get to moon rocks there's also basalt and quartz along with if you go way down there we will have i think sulfur also large deposits of hematite so yeah moon is rich in resources you can come down here to mine 
and if you notice the oxygen bar is slowly very slowly going down so yeah you can build a base here and provide it with vents water won't work by the way so you can really produce hydrogen and oxygen right here or out here i think you can if you make a pressurized base a way to obtain oxygen will be using the oxygen pinwheel it has no crafting recipe but placing it in a barrel will produce continuous oxygen like for the chlorine pinwheel which was added way back and now you can place your helmet in hold your breath until it's filled back with oxygen and put the helmet back on not recommended in real life so here i am going to make a rocket to head back the same rocket that we made before with the same thrusters but moon goes on the top or on the bottom now here's the issue that i was talking about so i started building a very simple base and we can seal this base we can oxygen it, pressurize it with liquid oxygen but observe what happens now so here goes and it completely glitches out now i don't know why this is happening if it's an issue with my graphic card if it's something wrong with the mod the way i generated the world i don't know what this is if someone can help me out then please do if you are facing this issue or you can solve this and yeah my ram usage goes way up i have to close minecraft and launch again so that's why i am not building a base today so we are going to commit a rocket to launch and head back to earth for now i'm going to wait for a solution here we go three two one So it looked like I was glitching out, but the journey back was way faster. And commencing entry burn once again. Let's see if we can land in that exact spot. Here we go. So we did actually end up in the exact spot right there, which is pretty cool. The landing legs actually do have an accuracy value of 100%, inaccuracy 0%. So yeah. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something from it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I am going to get to all of the comments as soon as possible and also find a solution for the problem that I have been having. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like the video. Peace out. Stay safe.